What's going on, Nature family? Mike here, back with another adventure. Today, we're here in Dunmore, Pennsylvania, and we're gonna go check out another one of their beautiful reservoirs. In a second, I'm gonna turn you around and show you exactly just where I am. It's a familiar spot. I was only here one time, actually on the other side, exploring, out exploring some old laurel lines. And um, I remember doing my intro there, beautiful spot, and uh, I wanted to come back and film it. Luckily, we have another beautiful day. I think it's like 96, but we're gonna get down and go check out this reservoir. I'll flip it around and show you exactly where I am. And we're gonna get this invention started, guys. So again, if you're new here, go ahead, hit that sub button down below, become part of the Naturing family. And as always, if you're part of the Naturing family, you know how we get into these adventures. Let's go do this, guys. But yeah, we're making our way down old abandoned line here next to an active one here let's give you a shot of the scenery here just beautiful out here today on this gorgeous gorgeous day again just uh, an absolute warm one today yeah today's temperature sweltering 96 luckily though the humidity lower than the past few days but again we're going to continue on down this abandoned set of tracks here to get to the reservoir and this is again dunmore reservoir number seven and if you've been watching my channel for a while now i did do a video on one of their other reservoirs i'll leave a link Below to that, I mean, that was a beautiful reservoir. I did a sunset hike. I would love to get back and do a full hike in the daytime to actually get its beauty. And especially with all the upgraded gear that I have, it'd make for a better viewing experience. But this is a nice short hike, guys. Can already hear the water roaring. And try to make my way over, give you guys a better shot. Well, we just got off the track here and let's just get a shot of this for you guys. An absolute gorgeous day. This beautiful reservoir. Wow, it's incredible here. Looking down, here's the big feature here, the step fall. And a lot of people over there enjoying the dam. It looks like we have some uh, buildings over there that we can take a look at. As this kid just jumped off into the edge. But yeah, this is beautiful. But I'm going to see if I can get us lower down and get some better shots of this waterfall. But just look how amazing this is, guys. And let me see if I can zoom all the way out into that island straight ahead. There's actually a, a truck out there, right there. There's people out on the beach. Unbelievable. But yeah, let's turn around and find a cut and make our way down to the bottom of this, this reservoir. So nature and family, we just left the viewpoint looking out over the reservoir. Now we're just gonna locate a, a side trail and get down to the bottom and we're gonna get a great view looking at this reservoir. And I think I see a cut here. So let me pause, check out the scene and we might be making our way down this little cut in the woods here. So stay tuned nature and family. Well, we're making our way 
down this little uh, path, I guess you could call it, and get, make it down to the bottom, and let's just see what we could uh, see what we could find here. But here we are at the bottom of this little trail, and we already see one of the water pipes here. I'll climb up out on top just to give you a better view. And I won't be walking on that pipe. Let me see if I can zoom in and get you that date. There's a date that says 1913 on that wall. Yeah, right there in the screen, 1913. So and if you look over there to your left, there's a pipe there that uh, I guess was used for the old workings. I'm going to get down this rocky terrain and get you a view of the uh, bottom steps. So again, we just made our way from up on top where the pipe was. And we're going to go down now and get low, check out this water and get a great look at this dam, guys, from the, from the bottom. But yeah, it feels great to be out here now, finally looking at the water. Haven't seen that in ages. Oh, it's actually beautiful. And just straight ahead, we have the step dam. We'll get up there in a second. We're just gonna take in this beautiful water. Yeah, guys, this uh, it's stunning down here. You have all the rock outcropping. The water looks quite low, though. I know last time we were here, this was this was roaring. Well, yeah, let's make our way over and take a shot looking at this, this dam. Again, this is a gorgeous one. I love the step dams like this, the construction and the engineering that goes into them. It's just absolutely incredible. And they seem to stand the test of time until they have to get dismantled. But how beautiful is this? We're going to get right down there and explore. So finally making our way across all this rocky terrain. We get a look at, at some of the buildings over there that we're going to cross and take a look at but just wow from the bottom here man I wish there was just a little bit more flow but this is this is beautiful we're just going to climb up a little higher and get a better view for you well, let's climb up these rocks here and get as close as we could to this waterfall guys Wow, that sound, I missed it. Yes, I did. Oh, the nice breeze coming down here, guys. Oh, just absolutely incredible. And we can get right up here, guys. Oh, man. Just look at this view. Wow. Just absolutely beautiful. I'll climb back out here and just give you a better shot. Just beautiful. 
So Natrig family, look at this gorgeous step fall here. Reservoir number seven here in Dunmore. Feels good to be back by the water. I mean, I'm loving it. We have a lot more to explore. We're gonna get down on the rocks, get you a shot from the other side, and we're eventually gonna cross over and get you shots looking at the pump house and shots looking from the top. And if we're lucky, there's still gonna be people swimming up there. So we got a lot more adventuring to do, Nature and Family. So we made it down bottom of this step dam here and we're gonna turn ourselves around. And just take a look. And I'm panned all the way out. It's just a massive massive dam here and again we have a lot of people over on the other side swimming but we're making our way right across this stone field here as boulder field runs all the way at the bottom I'm assuming to keep the debris from above from flowing downstream. But just look, another little pool area here and you can see the old piping where that came from. The pump house is above. But again, so beautiful. And so inviting too on this hot day. I can see why everybody's here jumping. Well, Nature and Fim, we have tons of people coming over here. We're gonna go over and just take a look at some of these buildings, check out the dates. I know a lot of them are locked up, but we just take a nice look at stone structures and some of them have dates on top so at least we're we'll gonna take a look at that so let's turn that around let's get a look at them guys well we're back nature and family and started our journey over there looking at some of the waterfall and here we are made it right to the other side and we're gonna take a look at some of these structures here and I'm assuming were pumps that would have ran the reservoir. This one says 1893. Again, beautiful stone. Now it's a corrosive material sign on it, but I'm sure that's not what it is. Again, this one here, 1893. And this one looks like it's sunk into the ground. Maybe it's just a smaller door, but you know, the size comparison, <laughs> it's funny. And we have another section. Now it looks like there's just doors all over this guys. There's another door here. And again, they're all sealed. As you can see, yeah, they're all sealed pretty good. They're all padlocked. But it's nice to just come around and get a view of them. And again, look at this old, old door here. As you can see, they have the bricks behind it. The door faded away so much. They had to put brick on it. That's so cool how nature just 
reclaims everything. And now we're just gonna take a walk up this little hill here and we're gonna make our way to the top of the dam. And here's another little building. This one may have been the power source. This one's 1903 on the top. And it's separated pretty far from the rest. We'll go up and just take a look at it. Yeah, here's taking a shot looking at the door that we just reached. With this door, you actually hear something behind it, like a some type of pump or fan. And here's like an out over the whole area. And we're gonna be making our way over to the top of the dam to go check it out. Well, nature and family, before I decided to Go check the front of the dam out because there are so many people here. So I want to give you this gorgeous lookout over the reservoir. And I mean this spot I'm at, just a beautiful outcropping. And the site here is just this is a perfect place to just sit and have a camp and cook. I might return and, and do one from this location. But just look how beautiful that is. You have the nice sky. Beautiful clouds. It's just an absolute beautiful spot. And I'll just show you, I'll climb out and I'll give you a look. Just this beautiful outcropping that I was on. Here's a nice little outcrop to get a good view on. I'll go down and I'll just give you a view from this location. Absolutely stunning here, guys. So we walked across the top of the reservoir here and everybody here, super nice. I talked to a few of the kids, a lot of them jumping, having a great time. They're telling me where the good spots were, where you should jump. But yeah, it's uh, super busy up here. Everybody out enjoying it. Again, like I said, it's in the 90s. Beautiful water. Great place to swim. Right here is uh, a plaque on the bottom of the dam. Scranton Water Company, 1872. J.H. Scranton, president and the directors. And that's located right there in the base of the reservoir. And again, just beautiful shots coming up. I mean, amazing guys.
Just absolutely love the view from up here. We're not even up at the top yet. We're gonna get up on top. I'll give you a nice pan shot of the reservoir and we will be uh, seeing what else we could find here. Well, Nature Fam, we're out here on uh, the second level of the dam. Flowing real nice behind me. We have uh, a lot of people behind me over here on the main deck. We're gonna give that a walk across and again, go see what else we could discover in this beautiful, beautiful area. So let's go guys, see what we could find. <laughs> well fam, we just made it down from the lower section. Now just look at this incredible view we're gonna get. Just a beautiful reservoir, gorgeous blue skies. Honestly, can't ask for a better time. Yeah, guys. Beautiful day, and you can just see everybody out here enjoying, having a good day out on the quads, swimming. Yeah, such a fun day. Glad I came down. Well, Nature and Family. We're gonna end the hike here today at Dunmore Reservoir number seven. Hope you enjoyed. I know I did. I was a little nervous coming up, seeing a bunch of people. I didn't know if I was gonna be interfering in their parties or their little swimming get-togethers, get but everybody was awesome, telling me new, uh, new places to go see, subscribing to the channel. So if you guys are watching, thanks so much for the hospitality. You guys were super, super cool. You guys made the trip uh, very welcoming, so I appreciate that, guys. And. Uh, Again, just take a look at these beautiful views behind me. Absolutely incredible. So glad I came here and even continued on when I see uh, everybody down at the bottom. But again, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead, hit that subscription button down below. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know you're enjoying my content. Done. I'm doing the right thing. And we'll get to go to all beautiful locations like this all the time. So again, so glad you guys came along on this adventure. This is Mike from Out Naturing. Till the next one, keep it real, guys.